going on guys? Welcome back. I have a Whole Foods versus Trader Joe's haul for you guys today. Starting off with what I got from Trader Joe's today. Some Rustico bread for avocado toast. I got a turkey chomps. We got some salmon on sale for $5.29. We got some English whole wheat muffins. Some salmon rub. Some Coconut sugar, this is supposed to be better than brown sugar, so I'm gonna start putting this in my coffees instead of brown sugar. Got some chai seeds for smoothies, some flax seeds for smoothies and other things. And then we got some little baby red potatoes to put in the air fryer. Then in this bag, we have some low fat cheeses as we are slowly transitioning into the lower fat ones, not the regular. Got some sweet potato fries, some shrimp stir fry that only has five carbs in it, eight grams of protein, and zero fat for one cup. We got some carrots, some mushrooms, some string cheese, some almond milk for smoothies, and then Two things of 99% lean, 1% fat ground turkey breast. And that is all from Trader Joe's. And now for what we got at Whole Foods. We got some blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, some carrot sticks because we're gonna try to make some Parmesan carrot sticks in the air fryer. Then we got some mush for Christian for breakfast and coconut in this bag. We got some grapes. Bananas, some gala apples, raspberries, some mega chocolate chip little bites, some green tea, blueberry slim life for energy, and support the dieting program. Then we got three dark chocolate bars to try, along with some eggs. These were only, what, $3? $2.99. I call that an amazing deal for eggs right now. At Whole Foods, we only ended up spending $63.46, and at Trader Joe's, we spent $77.45. To see how I incorporate all this food in my diet, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and TikTok as I vlog my meals every day. That's all for the haul. I'll see you all in the next one.